are we doing? We are going to be opening up the tent for the last time, at least with us, and um, getting everything out of it. Like we've got a uh, an extra mattress up there that we need to remove, and then we're going to close it up and take it off the truck because we have something exciting coming. Because rooftop tents are kind of difficult. Kind of difficult. It as much as we do it. So Zach right now is taking out um, the mattress topper we have in there. There is a lot of wear and tear on this tent. It is definitely not perfect. It has been well loved and well used. And as many of you know, it actually fell off the back of Pete in uh, Death Valley. Yeah, what do you have to say about it? Oh man, I love this tent. It's been awesome for us and uh, seen so many places and good times and bad times and, and just an awesome addition to our truck. All right, so I think this is our last time here in our rooftop tent and our Tapui rooftop tent. It's kind of, I don't know, like a- a Little bit bittersweet. Yeah, a little bit bittersweet. Yeah. We've had this thing for what, five years? It's been about five years. Yeah, and it's taken us to all sorts of crazy and amazing, beautiful, wonderful places, but we have plans for the future and those plans don't involve this rooftop tent. So cheers to Tapui and the rooftop tent. Uh... here in Longmont, Colorado, and it's been quite a trip getting up here and Zach's been working and uh, now we're at the bank and we are pulling out a fairly large sum of money to go buy a go fast camper. Woo! Yeah, we're excited. Um, I think we're feeling a little nervous too. Um, we're getting it used and uh, we're gonna need to mount it with the help of uh the Couple guy that's dudes. selling it and yeah. uh, so we got four guys lined up to to help out but you pretty much get one shot at it we got brand new bulb, bulb seal in the back and we've watched the video about 10 times and uh yeah just a little nerve-wracking doing something for the first time like this but um we got all the tools and everything and yeah plus it's like 15 degrees outside it's cold it's yeah. freaking cold <laughs> i go back home yeah it's late february and uh there's snow snow the everywhere and yeah. yeah it is not warm here in colorado yeah. so we're hoping there's an inside space to do this yeah Woo. all right well stay tuned so here we are at victory motors in longmont and he's got some pretty sweet rigs in here for those of you who love a good Jeep, yes. And then, yeah. I wouldn't mind driving that around town. Not on a day like this, but uh, pretty cool old cars. Check out this thing. I'm feeling like, I don't know, maybe Casino the movie? Yes. We used to drive one of these when I worked for the Forest Service. It wasn't so classic though. And we are about to put the Go Fast on Pete. So it's pretty exciting.
cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what are you doing? Um, well, just we think that the bed sides of the truck are probably splayed out a little bit, so we weren't able to get the the go fast like dialed as far as um, the placement on the bed. It looks like it's fine up front, but then in the back, it's kind of pushed out a little bit. Yeah. And in Tucson, we'll probably have to work on it a little bit more to make sure she's roadworthy. Um, but I think we'll be able to get it to a place where we can get home. And uh, we'll mess with it then. Okay, sounds good. And we are ready to start heading back south um, to warmer temperatures. So, Eww. what do you think, honey? Wow, it's so clean compared to the rest of the truck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks, Alan. Victory Motors. It wouldn't take long before we'd put this camper to good use. Stay tuned as we dig even deeper into Baja, California, Mexico. Mm -hmm.